things first. I'm Jen Wolf. That is Nick Wright. Joining us today, head coach Eric Mangini, Eddie George. We got a full plate here. Can I say something real quick? Two things about our two guests. One is Eddie was sensational yesterday. Man, doing my you time. So much. There is not a single person <laughs> in the world I looked more forward to seeing oh, after God. Sunday than this man right across from me. I thought, Great I, to I, see thought I was going to avoid the whole week, I know. but I wasn't able I, to. Man, I made some, I never ever do this. I made a phone call two levels above my pay grade saying, can we please, please fly Mangini in as soon as possible so they made it happen. To which Mangini I said, I can't be there the first day. I need the first to wave to wear off. Uh, oh it's uh, really interesting that you have to make a call two levels up. Two to levels up. That's, two that's levels up. The, that's my that's takeaway from this off the huh, Anyway, okay. we've got a great roster. we got a great show ahead of us yeah. this morning. We're going to get to Coach's Goat, Tom Brady, in just a minute. But we're going to start today with Nick's Goat. That would be Patrick Mahone. So, about seven years ago, a 17-year-old kid by the name of Patrick Mahomes tweeted his lofty dream of one day becoming the Super Bowl-winning quarterback headed to Disney World. Might have seemed far-fetched at the time, but yesterday, the now 24-year-old Mahomes saw his dream come true. This after winning the Super Bowl and becoming the youngest player ever to win both a regular season MVP as well as a Super Bowl MVP. Nick, we'll kick it off with you. What'd you make of Mahomes' playoff run start to finish? Three double-digit comeback victories, the most touchdowns Ooh. accounted for of any player in postseason history, despite, by the way, not playing the maximum number of games. You can play four, he only played three. And the way in which he won the Super Bowl, they won the Super Bowl, coming back from 10 down on a what I consider a great defense uh. and a team that was three plays away over the course of the regular season, one could argue, from being undefeated. It goes right in line with Joe Montana in 1989, Eli Manning in 2011 as one of the three greatest playoff runs by a quarterback I've ever seen or we've ever seen. There have been some great ones. Aikman in 92 was sensational. Phil Simms in 86 was out of this world. People famously remember Flacco in 2012. Yeah. But to me, Montana 89, Eli 2011, Mahomes 2019, those are your three greatest quarterback playoff runs ever. Yeah, and, and how he did it. You know, that you talked about, to come from behind, at home, down by 20, 24. Yeah. And to not implode at, at a young age of 24 years old, you would expect him to you know, falter to 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 uh, to give in to, to shut it down, but he was a warrior throughout it all. Just exceptional on all on all fronts, and just I mean, I'm just amazed at his age and how he was able to do it. Let truly legendary on all on all on all, on all fronts. Yeah, I hate to be the one to to bring it down a little bit. Oh, but, come on, Eric. But here's what I'm saying: when you spot a team 24, but when you're when you're consistently behind, mm -hmm. okay, I, I know we want to reward that behavior because he was able to come from behind. But you would like to think that the team wouldn't be in that position had he played better. When you look at the first half of the Super Bowl, that was not a very well played game on his part. Wasn't that the least amount of points they had scored all season the, in the first half? I think that's right. Okay, that so he struggled game. and when you look at the way that he was throwing the ball, the ball was consistently in the ground. I think where he did a really good job was, was what we talked about over the course of the season, getting out of the pocket, extending plays. There was a scramble on, I think it was like second and 15, uh -huh. that set up a, a third down. So I felt like the, the early, the first two games of the playoffs, he played better than he did in the Super Bowl. So to Coach's point, what do you say to the naysayers who say, well, yeah, he had these three great come from behind wins, but they had to come from behind well, because of uh, either it was his nerves or the way he started. No, but or that's, but that's or not accurate. The, 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 the Super Bowl, you can say they were in a deficit because of him. The first two games, they were in a deficit through absolutely no fault of Patrick Mahomes's. They were in a deficit against the Texans because of two drops on third mm -hmm. down and a muffed punt. They were in a deficit against the Titans because of a dropped on, drop on third down. The Super Bowl, for three and a half quarters, it was his worst game as a pro. Right. But something makes it even more special that a 24-year-old could be having his worst game as a pro That's my point, for yeah. 50 minutes yeah. and then lead 21 straight points in a five-minute stretch to win the Super Bowl, including a 44-yarder on third and 15, drawing a defensive pass interference on third and 10, and throwing the go-ahead touchdown on third and five. And that's what makes it so impressive is his mental toughness in those situations. Again, if you're on the biggest stage of your life on the Super Bowl, everybody watching and you not choke under that pressure I mean that is remarkable 24 years old to do that I mean to have your worst game first three quarters throws an interception and it's easy for a young player to say you know what 
I'm young. I'll be here next year. I can come here time and time again. But no, he forged up the, the fortitude, found a way to overcome those mistakes and put it behind him and find a way to win. And go to two, his, his number one receiver and say, listen, calm down. I need you right now in this moment. And although he wasn't playing great, he said, listen, we can still win this game. And they sure did it in a grand way. And I think this kid, is this legend, it's, I think it, oh, it's better than all the guys you named. And there's some Hall of Famers now, mm -hmm. Aikman. And who else did you have? Uh, Sims in 86, Flacco in 12. This line run. Line. For him, at 24 years old, is probably the greatest run I've seen in terms of a quarterback uh, and how he did it uh, in winning a Super Bowl. It's, it's truly remarkable. I was impressed by the first two games. I, I struggled watching the Super Bowl. I think he, he got outplayed by Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, absolutely. At least through three quarters, and you could argue even more than, than, than three quarters. And I was surprised that, that he responded that way. I thought that Kansas City overall did a really good job with their protection plan. They used the backs to chip, they used Kelsey to chip. They gave him some extra time. It was it was the the wide open receivers that that he missed. It was the pressing sometimes uh, in terms of pushing the ball into coverage. I was surprised by by that aspect of okay, it. Okay, but but we have to be fair here because in the final game of Patrick Mahomes season last year, mm. he wildly outplayed the opposing quarterback for 56 minutes. And then the final go. four minutes, the opposing quarterback who threw a couple picks, who was who tried to throw a third, but a guy was offsides, yep. who was having a terrible game, that's led a comeback, a, a comeback in the fourth quarter and then a drive in overtime, and that's part of his legend. And there are no style points. It's not about how you play the first 56 minutes. It's about how you play over the totality of the game. So if we, if, unless we're going to retroactively say, you know what, Mahomes was better than Brady, was the one, the quarterback you'd have rather had in the AFC Championship game last year, then what we can't do is in this game in the Super Bowl against Garoppolo say, well, if each quarter's worth equal, if each minute is worth the same, mm -hmm. then Garoppolo in its totality played about even with Patrick because he didn't. In the biggest moments of the game, in the final 12 minutes, Jimmy Garoppolo was 3 of 11 for 36 yards with a passer rating of 3. While Patrick Mahomes was 8 of 13 for 114 with a passer rating of 130 en route to his team winning the game. You taught me there's no style points. You have to mm. find a way to win the game, and Patrick did that on the grandest of all stages. Yes. There, there absolutely isn't any style points, and, and the win is the win, and that's the most important thing. And I'm not trying to take that part away from him, but we're, we're looking at the AFC Championship game last year, and, and you look at the Super Bowl this year, mm -hmm. the two biggest games that he had played at that at at those points, and he really struggles early. And 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 as we as we view this down the line, that's something that he's going to have to figure out, and and they're going to collectively have to figure out why why does that happen? How does that happen? And it's hard to talk about this in in this moment yeah. because we're so close to to what what just happened and, and the great things that he did for that city. But from a realistic coaching perspective, you do you take a step back and you say, okay, these things are fantastic. Now, why are we struggling in this area? Why, why is he having this problem if he's going to be as great as you hope he is? But that's a part of being a legend is to overcome personal yeah. failure. You know, I've had games where I fumbled twice in a game and I've lost the game. And I've sat in the, on the bench for two years at Ohio State. And I had to overcome that. And that's a part of it. I mean, to mature like that. In, in, in the moment, in the course of a game, not say I'm going to take an off season to think yeah. about, okay, how poorly I played in the, in the first three quarters of this game, but to do it in game, that's tough to muster up, and that's that's a different makeup men mentally speaking. So and that's why I, I say you fumble twice in the two biggest games of your career. But well, coach, but did you come back to win in right. actually no, the two I, biggest I, games I, of your career? Again, I love that aspect of it, but we're talking about this this whole playoff run. Yeah. And the first three quarters are part of that playoff run. And we could sit here and, and totally but disregard what, what happened, but you saw it. You watched it. I, I watched you, it. You saw the struggles. You saw the two interceptions. You saw the least amount of points That's the beauty. In, in, the biggest, in the biggest moment. And, and you could argue that, that a big problem was San Francisco's defense. A hundred percent. Listen. You know, th this, this defense with a 10-point lead, as much as you want to get on Shanahan and everybody else, that's why you have the defense that you have. That's when you have those elite pass rushers. 
can you give them anything better than a 10 point lead in the fourth no, quarter? No, that's it, it, it's a great point. The, the last point I'll make is this. I understand what you're saying about the slow starts in every playoff game he's played in, slow. except for except slow. For very slow starts. How about that? In every playoff game he's played in, except for the Colts game. What's also happened in every playoff game he's played in, he has led his team to the lead in the final minutes of the fourth quarter. And the, this playoff run, despite the slow starts, you know how every single one of those games ended? With Patrick Mahomes taking a knee with a double digit lead. Yep. Those slow starts, not only did they not have to win the game by the skin of their teeth, they won them comfortably when it was all said and done because maybe he is a slow starter. He is the greatest finisher we've ever seen up to this point in his career. Mm. Clearly what needs to happen is they need to mm. start the game an hour before the game starts so that by the time <laughs> he starts, he's- It wouldn't be fair. Deep we care about it. the ratings, man. You gotta keep Much the games Much more to talk about- Interesting. From this game. This is